I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, Terrio, it's so beautiful. How'd you do it? Well, you know what? I didn't. A designer did. However, you can create this amazing work of art yourself. And you know how? Through this, the wizard. Okay, I've shown this to you before, I know, because we've done some scrapbooking pages and some beautiful sunflower pages. Remember those? The star box. You can go back into the archives and see a bunch of different projects we used with the wizard. But here is what is so amazing about the wizard is that you can use other pieces of other tools with the wizard. Okay, so Spellbinders has, of course, they have different charms and different templates, but these are textured templates, and that's what's giving us this most amazing background here that we see in this wall hanging. All of these copper foils here have been texturized with different elements and different templates. Okay, so you can use Spellbinder templates, right? But here's the cool thing, you can use other people's too. This one comes from the Cuddlebug. This is their template. This one comes from Fiskars. It's a two-sided template. So you know what, you can use them all in the wizard. Or if you want to get really wild and crazy, you can use all kinds of stuff. We're going to use some paper clips. We're going to use some rubber bands. I'm even going to use some little rickrack trim here and we're gonna run it through the wizard and we're gonna create our own funky backgrounds. Okay, all right, so let's get started. First of all, here's what you're gonna need. Besides the wizard, you're going to need this additional embossing kit. It's called the Charm Embossing Kit. And the reason why you need this kit because it allows you to use everybody else's parts with the wizard. Are you with me so far? Okay, so you can get all of this online. No worries. Okay, the wizard comes in one piece and then you buy the charm embossing kit as a separate piece, okay? So let's get started. Let's, let's emboss something. Um, let's do, first of all, let's do, let's do spellbinders. Let's do that first, okay? So we'll take theirs. Oh, I have a whole bunch of different ones back here. So I like this one because I've already done this one. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to lay, this is how their little templates come by the way, and I'm going to lay this on the mat, okay? Then I'm going to take a piece of foil, put it on top of that, and then I'm going to take my mat, my embossing mat, put it on top of that, and then I'm going to use the white master mat on top of that, and I'm going to run it through the wizard, okay? Just like you would if you were doing a scrapbook page or a scrapbook layout, move this closer. Okay, here we go. We'll open that up. Take off the mat. Ooh, pretty. Look at that. Isn't that yummy? So now you can do all kinds of things. You can actually cut this out and put it on, you know, a black piece of paper, or, you know, whatever. Put it on a card, whatever. Oh, I love it, love it. Okay, so let's use somebody else's now, okay? Take another piece of foil. How about if we use the cuddle bug? We just put theirs, you just put the foil or whatever paper you're doing inside, put it on our white mat, put our tan embossing mat over that, and then this is when you're going to need the blue embossing kit, the blue mat. Put it on top of that. And the thing to remember about the blue embossing mat versus the white mat. If you have something a little bit thicker, then are you going to use something thinner? That would be the blue mat. If you have something thin, then you're going to use the thick white mat. Okay, we'll open this up. Watch. Voila! How cool is that? Yummy! Okay, let's do another one. Let's try Fiskars. Love that. Okay, so we're going to take some more foil. Nope, no, we're not going to put the, let's do Fiskars on top here first. We're going to put our foil down, and then we're going to put the white, or I'm sorry, the tan embossing mat, and then we're going to use the blue charm embossing mat. Put that through. So if your project is thick, remember what I said? No, because I don't remember either. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, look at how adorable that is. <gasps> I love that. Oh, by the way, what I'm using is this craft foil. 
and it comes in different colors. Spellbinder sells it. You can get it in copper, silver, gold, blue, red, a bunch of different colors. So, I mean, literally, you can go just hog wild, okay? There we go. There's another one. I'm going to just lay all these pretty little things out here for us to admire. Okay, let's do something really funky, shall we? Okay, so let's do paper clips. And that's the neat thing about this particular machine is that it's universal. You can use all kinds of different pieces from other machines. So we'll lay that on there. Okay. Into paper clips. Okay, so we're going to put that on our white mat. Put the paper clips on there. Take a piece of foil. Put on top of that. <laughs> I've not done this before, so this will be interesting. also smash bottle caps with this, by the way. There's a lot of crunching going on in there. <laughs> oh, should be good, though. Are you ready? Dun, da, da, da. The big reveal. Oh, my gosh. How cute is that? <gasps> I love it. Got to poke these out, but oh, my gosh. How adorable is that? Would that make not just the cutest little funky background for something that you're working on? I don't know what, but... It's cool. All right, let's do another one. Let's try, how many pieces of foil do I have left? Not many, okay. Let's try, let's try a couple rubber bands. And let's try some ribbon, okay? I'm gonna cut some pieces of ribbon. Why not? We'll just lay them out. See what happens. That's the fun part. You get to experiment with all this stuff. I love it. Okay, we'll just lay that out. See what I have going here? Camera guy? Got it? Okay, here we go. Put our foil on there. I feel like I need one more piece of ribbon or two because I want to fill in all the spaces. So we'll put that down there. Ooh. Maybe one more rubber band. Get funky. Ooh, ooh, Terry, you're wild. <laughs> you're crazy. Okay, we'll put that there. Put the embossing mat on. Try that. Mm. Ah, there we go. Got it. Oh, this is going to be so cute. Okay. Are you ready? The big reveal. <laughs> looks like looks like an amoeba. <laughs> How cool is that? I love this. So you know what? You can go crazy. You can just put whatever you can think of, whatever will fit in between the mats. You know what? Experiment. I mean, look, this even got the texture of the of the ribbon. That's how cool that is. Those are rubber bands, paper clips. Oh my gosh. The the possibilities are endless. You can find different pieces of textured papers and things like that and run them through. It's a piece of plastic from from some sort of a light. You can run that through. So anything like this works great for your wizard. Okay, so by the way, if you're really into this, I have all of the instructions instructions, instructions on how you can recreate one of those for yourself. Okay, so happy crafting everyone. Be sure and log on to the little logo over here.